the eight best college majors of 2023. Today, we are going to be ranking the best college degrees out there. So I'm really excited about this year's list. I think this is the best list that I've ever done. And the major thing that I added to this year's list is not only am I considering the salary and the demand, and those two, of course, are the most important things, but I'm also considering the demand at the entry level, right? So in previous years, I just put the demand out there of the careers that are very common that you would go into with these degrees. But in this year's list, I actually look at those careers, then I look at the demand at the entry level, right? Because there's a lot of careers out there that have a lot of demand, but they don't necessarily have that much at the entry level. So it can be very difficult for you to land that first job. I think we've all seen those job postings where it's like an entry level job that requires two to five years of experience, which is basically a meme. So if you appreciate me doing videos like this, go ahead, Kamehameha, that like button like Goku, and let's jump right into it. All right, so number eight on the list is my favorite business degree, which is management information systems. So this is basically a combination of business skills and technology skills. So the early career pay here is 60,000, mid-career pay is 105,000, the salary score is 70, the demand score is off the charts at 113, the meaning is 42%, and the bachelor grads per year is only about 7,800. Now, if you type in management information systems on LinkedIn, you sort by jobs, and then you sort by entry-level jobs, you're gonna see about 48,000 results. So 7,800 grads, 48,000 entry-level jobs, those are pretty good numbers. Now, if you type in management information systems on Glassdoor, you're gonna see they have a salary of about 96,000. This is a super flexible degree. There's so many different routes you can go. Just about every business out there needs technology as well as business skills. So the, really the sky is the limit here. You could pretty much do anything with this degree. Absolutely love it, phenomenal degree. Number seven on the list is going to be a master's level degree and that is nurse practitioner. Now, according to BLS, nurse practitioners make about $117,000 a year. When it comes to the demand, and according to BLS, there's 271,000 jobs and it's growing at an absolutely ridiculous 45% over the next 10 years, which is much faster than average. And according to Glassdoor, they make about $139,000 a year. And if you look up the entry level jobs on LinkedIn, you're gonna see 196,000 results. So yeah, nurse practitioner is phenomenal. Uh, medical degrees are great because you actually have to get them in order to get into the careers. So it's not an option like it is with a lot of technology or business degrees, it's a necessity. Necessity. And that could be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on your perspective. But with that being said, tied with nurse practitioner is also going to be nurse at the bachelor's level. So nursing at the bachelor's level, 60,000 a year, 79,000 mid-career pay, salary score is 56, demand score is 135, meaning score is 83%. A lot of healthcare degrees have very high meaning scores and meaning does tend to correlate with long-term happiness with your career. And the bachelor grads per year is 134,000. If you type in nurse on LinkedIn at the entry level, Level, you're going to see 582,000 results. And if you type in nurse on Glassdoor, you're going to see they make about $73,000 a year. So healthcare related careers, a lot to like. And then beyond the simple demand score is just the simple fact that, you know, healthcare related careers, you're pretty much always going to have a job. Like even if it's the end of the world, the apocalypse, you're still going to have a job, right? There's always going to be nurses and doctors taking care of people. Number five on the list is going to be electrical engineering at the bachelor's level. So with this one, the early career pays 70,000, mid career pays 119,000. Salary Salary score is 91, demand score is off the charts at 109, meaning score is 54%, and the bachelor grads per year is 16,000. If you look this one up on LinkedIn, you're gonna see 38,000 results at the entry level. And if you look it up on Glassdoor, you're gonna see that they make about $87,000 a year. So yeah, a lot of engineering degrees are great. The thing that makes engineering degrees so great besides the salary and the demand is the fact that you actually have to get the degree from many professions out there. So this gives you a barrier to entry, right? It sucks if you don't have the degree, but if you do have it, it's a nice moat, right? It's like a moat around a castle. It's a barrier to entry. Number four on the list is going to be physician associate, which is a master's level degree. Now, this one is also known as physician assistant. According to BLS, they make $115,000 a year, 129,000 jobs, and it's growing at a ridiculous 31%. If you look up physician associate on LinkedIn at the entry level, you're going to see 41,000 results. And if you look up physician assistant on Glassdoor, it's showing me 162 two thousand dollars a year now it really depends on the specialty that you go for. But yeah, physician assistant, really good paying. One thing I absolutely love about physician assistant, and it's very similar to nurse practitioner, but even more so, is that it's incredibly flexible. So one of the big problems with a lot of medical degrees, especially medical doctor, is that you have to choose a specialty. 
And when you choose that specialty, you're gonna do a residency that's three to seven years. And if for whatever reason you decide you don't like that specialty anymore, you cannot switch. Or if you did, you'd have to do another residency that's three to seven years. Whereas with physician assistant, it is super, super easy for you to switch specialties. So flexibility is incredibly underrated here. So yeah, really like physician assistant, physician associate, phenomenal career and phenomenal degree. Number three on the list is going to be a computer engineering degree at the bachelor's level. So with this one, early career pay is 72,000, mid career pay is 120,000, salary score is 93, demand score is 107, meaning is 46%, and and bachelor grads per year is about 7,200. According to LinkedIn, there's 110,000 jobs at the entry level for computer engineers. And according to Glassdoor, computer engineers make about $98,000 a year. So yeah, a lot of computer engineers are gonna end up working with hardware. Many of them will also work with software, but being in the technology industry in general is just incredibly good. It's the best industry to work in by far. Number two on the list is another technology related degree, and that is software engineering at the bachelor's level. So with this one, the early career pays 69 thousand mid career pays 112,000 salary score is 86 demand score is off the charts at 127 meaning is 39% and the bachelor grads per year is about 1000 if you type in software engineering on LinkedIn at the entry level you're going to see a whopping 434,000 results and if you type in software engineer on Glassdoor you're going to see $105,000 a year so yeah phenomenal degree 1000 grads per year with over 400,000 results on LinkedIn at the entry level those are pretty good numbers. Number one on the list is actually the same as software engineering in many countries, but in the United States, they're separate, and that is going to be computer science. Early career pay here is 68,000, mid career pay is 114,000, salary score is 86, the demand score is absolutely insane at 154, the meaning is 41%, and the bachelor grads per year is 22,000. Now, if you type in computer science on LinkedIn at the entry level, you're gonna see 191,000 results, and if you type in computer science on Glassdoor, you're going to see $91,000 per year. But realistically speaking, you could become a software developer, a software engineer, etc. There are so many different routes you can go with a computer science degree. And of course, you're going to be working in tech, which is the best industry to work in. Speaking of tech, the number one way that I recommend to break into technology as fast and efficiently as possible is to take a course from this company called Course Careers. I've interviewed many people on this channel who have used the service from Course Careers. For instance, Abdul graduated from high school briefly considered doing the whole college thing, but he kind of just wanted to start making money right away. So he took this course from Course Careers and he was able to land a tech sales job pretty much right after high school. And luckily Course Careers does have a free training, which I will put down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. Highly recommend checking that out. They also have a higher level program where they do more advanced training. You get access to a community of people who are also trying to get into tech sales. And on top of that, they get you guaranteed interviews with their partner companies. So if you choose to use that service, I do have a coupon code, which I'll put down in the description below. That is Shane50. But yeah, definitely check out that video with Abdul. I'll put it right here.